The Gordian Knot is a legend of Phrygian Gordium associated with Alexander the Great. It is often used as a metaphor for an intractable problem solved easily by cheating or thinking outside the box. Turn him to any cause of policy, the Gordian Knot of it he will unloose, familiar as his garter. Legend, at one time the Phrygians were without a king. An oracle at Telmissus decreed that the next man to enter the city driving an ox cart should become their king. A peasant farmer named Gordius drove into town on an ox cart. His position had also been predicted earlier by an eagle landing on his cart, assigned to him from the gods, and, on entering the city, Gordius was declared king by the priests. Out of gratitude, his son Midas dedicated the ox cart to the Phrygian god Sabatios and either tied it to a post or tied its shaft with an intricate knot of cornel bark. The ox cart still stood in the palace of the former kings of Phrygia at Gordium in the 4th century BC when Alexander arrived, at which point Phrygia had been reduced to a satrapy, or province, of the Persian Empire. Several themes of myth converged on the chariot, as Robin Lane Fox remarks, Midas was connected in legend with Alexander's native Macedonia, where the lowland gardens of Midas still bore his name, and the Phrygian tribes were rightly remembered as having once dwelt in Macedonia. So, in 333 BC, while wintering at Gordium, Alexander the Great attempted to untie the knot. When he could not find the end of the knot to unbind it, he sliced it in half with a stroke of his sword, producing the required ends. However, another solution is presented by Aristobulus that indicates he unfastened it quite easily by removing the pin which secured the yoke to the pole of the chariot, then pulling out the yoke itself. That night there was a violent thunderstorm. Alexander's prophet Aristander took this as a sign that Zeus was pleased and would grant Alexander many victories. Once Alexander had sliced the knot with a sword stroke, his biographers claimed in retrospect that an oracle further prophesied that the one to untie the knot would become the king of Asia. Status of the legend, Alexander is a figure of outstanding celebrity and the dramatic episode with the Gordian knot remains widely known. Literary sources are Alexander's Propagandist Arian Quintus Curtius, Justin's Epitome of Pompeius Trogus, and Elian's De Natura Animalium 13.1. While sources from antiquity agree that Alexander was confronted with the challenge of the knot, the means by which he solved the problem are disputed. Both Plutarch and Arian relate that according to Aristobulus, Alexander pulled the knot out of its pole pin, exposing the two ends of the cord and allowing him to untie the knot without having to cut through it. Some classical scholars regard this as more plausible than the popular account. Alexander later went on to conquer Asia as far as the Indus and the Oxus thus, for callous themes, fulfilling the prophecy. Interpretations The knot may have been a religious knot cipher guarded by Gordian Midas's priests and priestesses. Robert Graves suggested that it may have symbolized the ineffable name of Dionysus that, knotted like a cipher, would have been passed on through generations of priests and revealed only to the kings of Phrygia. Unlike fable, true myth has few completely arbitrary elements. This myth taken as a whole seems designed to confer legitimacy to dynastic change in this central Anatolian kingdom, thus Alexander's brutal cutting of the knot. Ended an ancient dispensation. The ox cart suggests a longer voyage, rather than a local journey, perhaps linking Gordius Midas with an attested origin myth in Macedon, of which Alexander is most likely to have been aware. Based on the myth, the new dynasty was not immemorially ancient, but had widely remembered origins in a local, but non-priestly outsider class, represented by Greek reports equally as an eponymous peasant Gordius, or the locally attested authentically Phrygian Midas in his ox cart. Other Greek myths legitimized dynasties by right of conquest, but the legitimizing oracle stressed in this myth suggests that the previous dynasty was a race of priest kings allied to the unidentified oracle deity. Use of the phrase, the Gordian knot is alluded in the motto of Ferdinand II of Aragon, Tanto Monta and in the yoke representing Ferdinand in the emblem of the yoke and arrows. Brian Collis has suggested that Donald Wiseman cut the Gordian knot of the intractable problem of identifying King Darius the Mede in the Book of Daniel, by identifying Darius with Cyrus the Great. W. G. Spald in The Rings of Saturn recounts the episode of Joseph Conrad who was shot or shot himself in the chest allowing him to cut the Gordian knot of, 
in Spall's Telling, A Stormy Love Affair. In Tracy Let's Pulitzer Prize winning play August, Osage County, Bill Fordham uses the phrase to describe his marital problems with his wife Barbara when he says to her, just because you and I are struggling with this Gordian knot doesn't make me any less of a, Lord Upjohn, speaking of the allocation of beneficial interests between the parties under a constructive trust in National Provincial Bank Limited v. Ainsworth, said that the party's affairs are sometimes so inextricably intermixed that an equitable knife must be used to sever the Gordian knot. Gottfried Leibniz argues in his essay on nature itself that refusing to acknowledge an active force in things and instead simply to absorb this force into a command of Goda Euro unregistered trademark s, a command given just once in the past, having no effect on things and leaving no traces of itself in them, is so far from making the matter easier to grasp that it is more like abandoning the role of the philosopher altogether and cutting the Gordian knot with a sword. Charles Spurgeon preaching at the Metropolitan Tabernacle in London, England, made mention of the many Gordian knots which wicked men may cut, and which righteous men may try to unravel, but which God alone can untie. Albert Camus, in his lecture at the University of Uppsala on December 14, 1957, used the Gordian knot as a metaphor for the civilization falling apart at the sword of rampant politics of power and nihilism of the 20th century. He called for the newborn artists, the anti-Alexanders, to heal the wound and repair the knot, yes, the rebirth is in the hands of all of us. It is up to us at the Westers to bring forth any anti-Alexanders to tie together the Gordian knot of civilization cut by the sword. For this purpose, we must assume all the risks and labors of freedom. John Paul Sartre, in Sinan Zit Hidega seems to have profited by study of his predecessors and to have been deeply impressed with this twofold necessity the relation between human realities must be relation of being. This relation must cause human realities to depend on one another in their essential being. At least his theory fulfills these two requirements. In his abrupt, rather barbaric fashion of cutting Gordian knots rather than trying to untie them, he gives an answer to the question posited a pure and simple definition. Karen Joy Fowler, in her sixth novel, We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves. Fowler references the Gordian knot to describe the Cook family's inexplicable grief and inability to communicate following the loss of the narrator's twin sister Fern, Fern was gone. Her disappearance represented many things, confusion, insecurities, betrayals, a Gordian knot of interpersonal complications. Nikita Khrushchev, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, Nikita Khrushchev, in his first message to John Kennedy, Khrushchev said this, we and you ought not to pull on the ends of a rope which you have tied the knots of war. Because the more the two of us pull, the tighter the knot will be tied. And then it will be necessary to cut that knot, and what that would mean is not for me to explain to you. I have participated in two wars and know that war ends when it has rolled through cities and villages, everywhere sowing death and destruction. For such is the logic of war. If people do not display wisdom, they will clash like blind moles and then mutual annihilation will commence. Robert McNamara, Fog of War, in the final issue of Scott Snyder's Batman Arc Zero Year, an imprisoned Batman incorrectly answers a riddle by the Riddler with Blade whereas the actual answer was not, which the Riddler explains was intended as a reference to Alexander's Gordian knot. Batman however reveals he was aware of this answer, but having determined that the Riddler's trap had been rendered inoperable quips he solved the riddle the same way Alexander had, by bypassing the challenge altogether, a blade. See also, Archimedean Point, Egg of Columbus, Endless Knot, Hellenic Army for Army Corps, II three quarters III micron I to the first IOI one half II micron I florin I one quarter IOI one half II micron III florin I plus or minus I to the first, Kobayashi Mirai. Trefoil Knot, Notes. References, Robert Graves, The Greek Myths, 1993. ISBN 0-14-017199-1, Robin Lane Fox, Alexander the Great, 1973, pages 149 Euro 151. ISBN 0-14-008878-4, Plutarch, Lives.